Welcome back to our conversation with Congresswoman Lori Trahan of Lowell and the 3rd Congressional District. Congresswoman, uh, in, in this past week, uh, you issued a strong statement denouncing the slaughter in Israel and uh, supportive of Israel. Uh, at a rally in Boston the other day, uh, Senator Ed Markey, uh, a, a pretty strong supporter of Israel himself, uh, uh, drew booze when he called for, quote, de-escalation of the current violence. And your colleague, Ayanna Presley, tweeted, quote, we need an immediate ceasefire and de-escalation, end quote. What do you think of those statements? Well, John, I'll just start by saying, you know, like so many here in Massachusetts and around the world, uh, I'm horrified by the violent terrorist attack by Hamas uh, that targeted innocent innocent Israeli civilians uh, last weekend. I mean, just a few months ago, I was in Kafar Azah as part of a congressional delegation. I mean, we visited what's now the site of one of the worst atrocities that we've seen so far in this attack where families were slaughtered in their homes. I mean, babies were mutilated. It's devastating. It's absolutely devastating to think uh, of the families that I met on that trip. Uh, children playing in their preschool playground uh, were victims of this, this heinous attack. Uh, and look, what Hamas terrorists did uh, last e weekend was pure evil. And I think it's incumbent on all of us to condemn this attack um, and stand with our Israeli allies as they respond uh, to with this clear threat to their, their safety and their security. And overwhelmingly, uh, you, you're seeing uh, not just the mass delegation, but uh, Democrats across our country, uh, Republicans, independents, uh, condemn this attack because it is a terrorist attack. Was it, uh, was it appropriate of your colleagues to call for, quote, de-escalation at this moment? Look, I think everybody wants to see peace, uh, peace for Israel, peace for Palestinians. Um, the reality is right now we are standing unequivocally with our Israeli allies as they continue responding to the Hamas attacks over the weekend. Uh, and in the short term, we are, uh, you know, the, the president has made his goals very clear. We are going to bring Americans home, uh, whether they're in, you know, Israel or stuck in, in Gaza. We are going to make sure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself. And we are going to work to deter that no other bad actors in the region use this as an opportunity to expand the conflict. And I think we are united uh, with those goals. All right. I just have about 30 seconds left, but you had mentioned in our first segment uh, the question of aid. Now, Israel, as I understand it, there's about $5 billion basically in the pipeline of U.S. aid to Israel that they can draw on. So th this may not be an immediate need. Uh, but uh, the, already you're hearing uh, Republicans and, and some others grumbling about the idea of linking it with Ukraine aid. Uh, what about that? Is, is Should these be two separate appropriation items? Look, I think we are, uh, we've got obligations uh, um, that we have to our allies, right? We have Ukraine that is fighting valiantly against Russian aggression. Uh, and now we have Israel uh, defending uh, its homeland against terrorism. Uh, and we have to make sure that we are there. Um, we have made that, uh, that obligation uh, to both countries. I think we are united uh, in ensuring that, um, that we are there standing with them and supplying them with what they need to win. Uh, and so I do expect that the president is going to ask for supplemental funds to fulfill that commitment. Whether they're linked or separate remains to be seen. Okay. But I think what's really important is ensuring that uh, that we stand uh, in solidarity with both Ukraine and with Israel. Uh, and we do, we have the capacity to do this. Look, we have long stood uh, with with Israel. Um, we have the infrastructure in place to get them the weapons they need to replenish the Iron Dome in country and as well as, uh, you know, commercial agreements that we have. So this is, uh, this is something that I think there is, um, you know, unanimous agreement in terms of getting uh, them the supplies and the resources that they need. 
Congresswoman, that's all our time we have, but we'll be uh, back in touch with you on this as the weeks go by. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, John.